Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crazy Cake Pinoy. But before we start, please watch, like, and subscribe, Crazy Cake Pinoy. Thank you. I'm showing you my cookie cutter, how to make a lady shoes by using jam lady shoes cutter. I had this jam almost 40 years ago, a long time ago. My first trial is making these shoes to my sister-in-law on her birthday. Now, I'm making the shoes again, but a different style. I'm using the sole of the shoes and the upper former and the upper former embosser former embosser part. It's like a design for the shoe for the former. And I also have the left and the right part of the heel. And we also have the heel former and the lower former. I am not using this strap, you know, the the front, the ankle strap and the back strap. I'm not using that. Way back before, for 40 years, I used it, but now I'm not going to use it because I'm doing a different stuff. And I have another one over here, is the butterfly. This is what I'm going to replace from my ankle and back strap. So I have your large, medium, and small. I'm using the small one, a butterfly, a cutter with embosser. I'm using the small and the large. So I'm going to set this aside, the medium size. Okay. I'm going to, let's get started. This um gem lady shoes cutter. Actually I'm not promoting anything or sponsoring. So I'm just showing you what I got it from online from gem lady shoes. But if they're happy for that for me, then I'm showing them I'm using their product. But all their gem products are all nice. I really love it. So there's an instruction here how to use it. There's a picture that how to use it. But I'm going to show you how to use it also. Okay. I'm taking my stall. My former embosser. Um, comma. I'm getting my lower and half of the heel and the heel, the left and right heel, part of the heel. Okay. See the drawing are so cute. Okay, put it aside. And I also have this one that you can use it for doing this thing. Because it's so hard if you don't have it because when because there's this you see this thing? So this one it make it will hold it. So when you have the gum tape, I'm using the gum tape because this will be a part of the cake popper. So when you put a gum pan and then use your rolling pin and so easy to do. Alright. Alright. I have here a gum tape. So I like this color because it is my sister-in-law favorite color. So I have this here, two kinds of rolling pin, or you can use only one rolling pin. So I have here the thickness that I want for my stall. Because if you use the, the smaller thickness, it's so thin, so like a little bit thicker for your stall. So your stall has to be different. Okay, now we're rolling it. There you go. That is the thickness that you want. I have the saw and make sure you have to put a shortening around the edges inside then okay. let's get that there you go now 
When I have beer, then you roll it. There you go. Every time you use the gum paste, make sure you put it on the plastic like that. So it won't get dried right away. So I want you to have to clean the side of the edges of the soil. Now I have this one. It's called a ball tool. So we want to get that the side of the soil. But if you don't have this, you can use your hands also, your tip of your finger. I like this one. I'll brush it aside. You don't need to squish it up. Make sure you get all the soil like that. And make sure you clean the size of the soil. I have the excess over here. Forget to clean it up. Now, I have this here. Yeah. You can use that. See how it You can see the design that we're looking for. So, brush with your finger or pull to whatever you feel like to make, get that design. Now, uh, uh, Hang up. Let's see. See that? Okay. Now we have to this one let it dry. So we have here. A heel former. So we have also have the front one, but we have this former. So this one is like you have to let it dry for a while to do, or you can make your own. So I have this I got from online before. So I I modify it because I wanted like really like the curve of the shoe, the heels. So I have this one and I just let it dry. Let it dry for a while, but you know, it will be fine. Okay, I'm going to put it on the side because I have to make the heel. So I have this one that you have, you're going to do is just to connect this. You can see this. Hope you can see it, right? Connect it. I'm going to attach it. So, get some gum paste. You don't need a lot. So. Here we go. So, you have to make like a teardrop or Whatever you want to call. Okay. Once we over here. Okay. Make a little teardrop. And then make sure you put a little bit ex excess over here. And then and then later on we can adjust that. So, right. now I have this other one, the other part, so make sure you attach that. So, I'm going to and then click it, remove it, and then you can press it. Make sure you're holding this like really tight. Press that. And the other, the other lid, you can press it to make sure. Okay. 
So if you want to do the next test, you can use a small paring knife or you can use a scissor. So whatever you feel like. I'm using this. Okay. If you move the excess and then press that. Now, this one you have to press it inside just to get all that. You can see okay. you can press the top one see you can scoop it up. Then you can clean the edges. I like a small knife, more easy to handle it. And sometimes you have to be careful. Clean all the edges. There you go. You want to clean the excess, the edges thing, heal the shear. All right. I'm just putting it on back in a thick lock. I'm going to dry it away. Oops. Let me see if I Now, you have to let it dry for a while because it's still soft. And I want it dry, uh, then you just move this. There you go. Now you're going to see there's an excess here on the side. Sorry. You can use a sparing knife if you want, or you can use a rolling cutter. There you go. Or you can use that, whatever you feel like, remove the old excess. Let's see the old excess. There you go. Then just pull it away. It's a little bit soft because I didn't let it dry. I just want to show you what it looks like when you see the, ex the excess thing. You can remove with your pairing if you want to. So, there you go. Yeah, let's put this on the side. Now, I have used the heel former, so you can use this. To let it dry. Okay. You guys can see it? Okay. Now this one, see? You let it dry and then just press it like this. But sometimes when you want to let it dry, I wanted to let it dry upside down. So I have here the one I used from thing. So I have this one. You let it dry side down. Make it straight. Make sure you put it straight like this. More easier if you want to. Because it's still soft because the weight is on the on the top one and the bottom one like so skinny. The heel. So when you do it this way, you can do it this way if you want to. This way so 
it's really heavy when you do this one so make sure you just press it like this and then now the, the sole I have here so, so it's not staying because of the what we have then I have this you know when you this way then you get the sole and then you, you glue the stuff and that's why it's so what it looks like so show you the sole okay this is what the shoes look like I didn't even glue it yet but I'm going to show it later on one is dry so let it dry for an hour and we'll be right back okay now we're going to use the upper former and the embosser former so we can let it dry and we also have this the lower former I think it's the styrofoam the way you let it dry now I have this gum paste ready made so I use the, the, th the tingling one so yeah, more faster so now of course don't forget paste the bowl shortening on the edges yeah this thing Now we have to bring this on every time you use your gum paste, even a regular fondant, you have to put it in the soup now. I have one to clap and then get dry out of it. Clean up the edges. Yes. But spray clean the edges. Of course, you want to get that side because there's a design inside. or both now okay. and good I have my needle I have my needle so anything any kind of needle you want to use so you can have to do that in one there There we go. Okay. Let's see it. Now, we have this. It is my embossed former. I hope you can see it, but and do this. Just make sure you put it in the center. And then press it a little bit, but not too much. You know, like like press. Then read. And there you go. Have the design. Then it is the lower lower former. So the styrofoam is included from the set because they're unlined pieces. Get this. And then let it dry, but not really, really dry, dry, just to make it like to let it form. So let it dry. Now, while we're trying that, I'm going to make also my butterfly for the design of the shoe. Now, I'm using this, I have these three kinds. But you can buy it also on a bakery store online former so the big one I'm using this one the medium size we have small medium and large and medium size for the big butterfly and this one for the small butterfly right 
So, I'll be right back. I'm going to clean up my table. We're back. Now, I already rolled this down base for my butterfly. It will took for a while when you're rolling it because you want to get the thickness of the gum base. Alright, I'm using my large one and the small one. So, all I can do is put some pasteball shortening, more easy to release. So this will be your box strap of the heel, your lady shoes, not the heel, but, but near the heel. Hmm. Now I already missed the other space, so that's my mistake, so I have to do it again. Just to make sure like they're inside. So once you got it and then press this. And you can get beautiful design of the butterfly. So I'm using the same thing from the small one. That and then then this is but I like doing like this so just to make sure that I get you see it. So you press it and you get a beautiful composer butterfly. Same thing. Yeah. Every time you have your gum pay. I'm really sorry if I keep on saying it. It's too much to remind you. Now, the one I said that I'm using this one, and I'm also using the small one. So, using the small and the medium size. So, this one. You know, the small one, so I click like a design and press it a little bit. Same thing, spatula, the center, and let it try. But if you don't like a really, really thick one, but that's okay. But this one, I have to do the other way because that will be the design at the back of my shears. Yeah, and the small one will be the front one. Okay, just let it dry for a while, and then we're going to decorate our shoe. Now, earlier, not really, really earlier, so I already have my sole and my heel, so already let it dry. So my former heel so I want to make sure that they are really really dry before you put anything else now and then from here it's a little bit soft but that's fine then we're going to put that over here make sure because you don't want it really really dry because you have to follow that the curve of the sole of your shoes so that's going to be look like this okay. now you can use also the salt shoes if you want to but I don't want to remove because I'll still let it dry it okay. but you can remove it just in case if you want to but it's already dry sometimes I use this to hold it okay. now time for glue I had here, it's not really water, so I have this, uh, if you're using a gum paste, I'm using this uh, a glue, a coil glue, so I'm using water and the stylus powder and mix it together, and then you will see some lumps, so you have to wait for a while, like five more minutes, and then keep stirring, and now it's like, like glue, okay, so I will, you don't need a lot of 
Yeah. Just like a little bit on the ear and the at the edge. Then start bringing that up. I'm sorry if I keep turning it, but this is part of <laughs> There you go. Here side, make sure that you're all nice and clean. Sometimes you have to bend your, your head a little bit so you can see like it's really nice. Yeah. So now I have that. You know, my needle, the side. So I use these edges just to press this. You can use anything you want just to press the, the thing so it will stick together. There we go. And the other side also. There we go. Make sure everything will stick together. So the, oh, the, way I like it. the one I make is for my sister-in-law is a, it's a white down paint and then just paint it with a silver luster powder to make it like shiny silver shoes like a Cinderella stuff. So I'm using this, the heel former. So you can use also paper towel if you want to. Yeah, I can use one and then put it over there so it won't fall down. There we go. Now it's already dry a little bit bit for the heel. So I have this one ready. So remember I used uh, the butterfly that will be my um, that will be my part of the box strap, the large one and the small one I'm going to put the butterfly here on top of the front of the shoes. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we'll be right back. Okay, go back. Now this one is already a little bit drier. Now my butterfly is not really really so dry, but you don't want it really really dry because it's going to get hard. So I have this, the butterfly, that will be the back of my heel. So I'm going to put some glue around this heel. Yeah. So press the butterfly on the side. Okay. Make sure it's on the center. I know it's hard, but you have to be patient. Okay. okay. All right. Press it a little bit, but not too hard. Then I want. You, then we have to close it a little bit on the shoes. The wings of the butterfly. Ah, there you go. So uh, you can remove this if you want to, so you try. So I have this, the butterfly, back up the hill. Now, next, I have here the small one. It's more quickly to dry because they're really small. So just another glue. Not really a lot of glue, just to make it like a stick on your shoe. So.
Just press too hard. You don't want to press it hard because it's going to fall down. So, there you go. So let's let, let it dry for a while and then we'll be right back. Maybe like an hour or 30 minutes, an hour. All right? Be right back. All right, we'll be, we're back. Now my, my shoes already dry a little bit. So I have this pair of shoes. How to make a lady shoes by using jam lady shoes cutter. So the design is a butterfly. Here you go. Thank you for watching. But before saying goodbye, please watch, like, and subscribe. Gracie Kick Pinoy. Thank you. Bye.